CNN's Yemisi Adiko, March 31st, 2017 article, Chowberry, How a Software Engineer is Feeding Nigeria's Poor with an App, tells of Oscar Eponimo, who, as a child, was familiar with being hungry. His father's illness left him unable to work, and the impact on the family income significantly affected the food supply in Impanimo's childhood home. Impanimo told CNN, I had to go to school without food and got by with snacks friends shared with me. I always said in the future I would do something to ensure others wouldn't go through what I went through. Impanimo is now a software engineer and has created an app that does exactly what he always said he would do. His app, Chowberry, connects supermarkets to non-governmental organizations and other low-income earners who can, through the app, buy food that is about to expire at discount. Ipanimo reports that the response to his project has been encouraging and he's able to see the impact of the app. One such person is a lady with six children who survives on 400 nara a day, or the equivalent of a dollar and five cents a day. One of her sources of income, selling kunu, which is a local drink, was lost as authorities seized her supply for selling this selling in the street, leaving her with, with only revenue from selling firewood. The app was instrumental in helping her obtain food for her family. The pilot, lasting three months, which included 20 retailers in Lagos, in Abuja reached 300 people and fed 150 at-risk children and orphans. Plans are to include more retailers as the service continues to grow. It is estimated that in 2014 through 2016, 223 million people in sub-Saharan Africa were hungry or undernourished, which is the second largest number of hungry people in the world, according to the UN Food and agriculture organization. World Food Program states that Nigeria is a food deficit country, which means that it cannot provide enough food for the population. This, coupled with Nigerian recession, widespread, widespread poverty, and inflation, all point to a hunger problem in Nigeria. In addition, the Boko Haram conflict in the northeast part of the country could be the cause of 75,000 children to starve to death in the coming months. After winning the Rolex Award for Enterprise, Eponimo said, It's been a wonderful journey. We're expanding our work and working on scaling to other parts of the country and to other regions and possibly replicating it in other parts of the world. This is a wonderful story of empathy in action.